Okay. <laughs> Go on then. Who's introduced in this one? Right. Cross training. Do we really need it? Is it necessary? What do you reckon, guys? Anyone? <laughs> anyone? Is ass. there anyone there? Anyone? <laughs> well, it was it was it, I mean, as far as I can see, the question is if your instructor has cross trained and has got all the skills you need, do you need to go and cross train yourself? Because they'll be teaching you the relevant skills. I suppose the question is what are you looking for? What are you doing? What are your goals? Pretty much with all things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, see, I, I only build myself as teaching a subset of the skills because I only have a subset of the skills and it's all at my stage of life and health I'm capable of doing. So I have trained around over the years to pick up some things that were definite holes in what I've done. So I did Gracie Jiu-Jitsu for a while so I could roll around on the floor and at least get a feel for that and how to get out of it. I'm not very good at it, but at least I have a basic understanding um but i have enough of an understanding of that to teach my guys what i need to teach them in order to be able to get out from under if they end up on the ground that doesn't mean they could fight an experienced grappler with anything i can teach them and if you want to specialize in a skill you want to specialize in ground fighting then yeah go and and train with a specialized ground fighter but then you are learning a different game i'm teaching general purpose i'm teaching karate and general purpose basic self-defense skills. Mm. So I'm so, not yeah. making specialisms in certain ways of fighting. The karate I teach is what I consider practical usage of karate. The other skills I teach are just sufficient to get you out of trouble in a live situation, assuming the person you're against isn't a specialist in those skills. Mm. And the, yeah, so if you're doing that for self-protection, then the likelihood the aggressor is a specialist in grappling on the floor is very low isn't it you, you know there's not uh, uh, uh loads of brazilian jiu-jitsu guys going out fucking attacking people in the streets are they <laughs> we'd hear about it yeah <laughs> <I reckon. laughs> yeah so yeah I, i'd say as as, as, a, as a karateka yeah striking is is our specialist skill i say specialist <laughs> we're all right at it um and i yeah i, I did the same I, I went off and I did Aikido, or Aikido Jiu-Jitsu. I did a bit of Judo as well because I wanted to be better at throwing. Um, so I did I did cross train to improve my skills. But then I feel like you, Bob. I've, I've, I've gained that experience in that field to then pass that on to my students. That it's 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 good enough in my syllabus for self protection. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, if they wanted to go and compete, you know, if they wanted to do um, a mixed martial arts tournament, then they're going to have to get those cross train those skills elsewhere. You know, those ground skills because mine are very limited. Um, yeah. My throwing's okay, my striking's all right. You know, so uh, yeah, cross training depends. Back to sort of that thing as well. How much time have you got? Hmm. So, as you said, if we're primarily strikers, but you need to know a little bit of groundwork just so you're familiar with it. You need to know. Um, you need to know little bits of everything, and I mean, I, as I've cross trained in a little bit of aikido, done some judo. And some sword fighting, which doesn't really help that much, but it's good fun. It's way cooler, isn't it? I would have thought. Exactly. I mean, you know, who doesn't want to a weapon to around? Yeah. People. Um, <clears throat> and so, how much time have you got to do all these things? I mean, if you're going right, well, I've got to do karate X amount of times a week, and I've got to go and do judo, I've got to do aikido, and I've got to do some BJJ or, or even normal jiu-jitsu. BJJ is not the yeah. be all and end all of jiu-jitsu. No, well, I did that back in the about thirty years ago. We'll probably get some hate mail for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so how much time you've got to do it? And if you're training all the time, especially if you're training all the time to be the best at self-protection, what are you protecting? You've got to balance your life up a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a bit of a tangent there, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think another issue with cross-training is that, as you say, if your syllabus is comprehensive and you've got a basic grasp of the skills that you need to teach then you can do it all in the one place your students should be able to do it all in the one place if you feel those skills are necessary you should incorporate them in your training but it's the label disease again isn't it people feel that various arts are where you go to get these skills from so if we will use the example footwork from boxing okay good footwork skills good covering skills 
good punching skills within their rule set. But the notion is then that, well, if you want to learn good footwork skills, you need to go and do it here. Well, you don't, you just need to practice those skills within your remit, you know, but it's like, oh, well, no, we don't do that because we're karate. So those are boxing skills or judo throwing. Uh, those are judo skills. We don't do that. If you do them, you do them. You've got to also be careful because you go to these other places and it depends again what your goal is because if you go to judo a lot of judo is the grip and the grip is on the gi mm -hmm. uh, and whilst we've talked about gis before and they can be equivalent to coats and things it's not the same there's a rule set um i mean the first time i went to judo i was teamed up with this 18 20 year old brown belt and he was he he went to the floor and he did the judo and i'm doing the judo uh, cover yeah. now, yeah. grab his yeah, yeah, right, yeah. down on the floor, and he went, Well, what are you going to do now? And I'm like, Well, I just stamp on the back of your head. And he looked like, <laughs> But it's a different rule set, and it's a different thing. It's like boxing, they wear gloves. You've got to compensate for all these things. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure you're looking at it through the right lens as to what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. So, yeah. so there are skills that you can pick up by looking at other arts, but they're not self contained. You, you, you've got to structure the whole thing as a, a package for what you're trying to achieve. And so as an instructor, you may need to go and pick up those skills from various places, yeah. but it doesn't mean your students should need to if they are interested in the package that you are teaching. But if they want to go and do something, you should not be a dick about it and you should oh, learn no. it. Oh, no, good God, no. Yeah. yeah. But it's funny, though, because I went to judo to learn throws, but karate is supposed to have nine of them. Well, Shotokan is, isn't it? Funakoshi had nine of them. <laughs> so I went somewhere else to learn them. And that was the problem, I think. You know, now I've I've got a good grasp on it. You know, my karate, I feel, is a bit more whole. So, yeah, cross-training. Like, like I think the, the conclusion is it depends on your goals, isn't it, really? And it I depends think, on uh, your goals and depends who you're training with. Yeah, yeah. 